submissive environment, one that is welcoming to a submissive woman. Because whether you want to believe it or not, submissiveness starts with men. It really do. There's not a woman in this world who doesn't want to submit. But you actually have to be worthy of it. Like, you have to be capable of leading. That's what submissiveness is. I, I can't wait to submit to a king. So submitting to a man is a dream. No, nope, the women not against it. You guys are just not submitting material. That's it. That's not a woman in this world who don't want to do everything she can for a man. A worthy man, though. You guys who like saying submissive, be fucking losers. And you don't listen because if you did, you would have already knew that you were losing already. That loser on here telling me I can't compete. You behind. Back to submitting though. If the woman not submitting to you, maybe it's because she's paying half on the rent. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe she's working, coming home, cooking and cleaning, just like. Well, no, you don't get. To, oh, you don't want to do that, right? So maybe she's doing everything you're doing, and still piling more work on. So maybe she's doing more than you. I mean, if she's not submitting to you. That's it. You the problem. If your woman is not submitting to you, you are the problem. Period. And that means you need you got some work to do. Most of y'all want to leave so bad. And you don't know where to start. You just don't. And that's just real. Period. Women have never stopped wanting to be submissive. They have never stopped wanting to be a queen to a king. She's a single mom, my boy. She's a single mother. She couldn't keep him, sadly. You know, but she's submissive, though. She's submissive, so. It's just the population is kind of low on the leading men <laughs> and the kings. That's it. That's proof right there. They did research, baby. They didn't just get on the internet and um, find a percentile of the women who hate men. They did real math and you came out short, sir. So yeah, um, submit to that and accept it. I will say this guys, I only want you to date a woman that is submissive all the time. I only, if a woman said it has to be the right man, the right situation, <sighs> You know, you know what I think about? I want y'all to see if y'all can follow me with this. I believe it's like a person with talent. If you have a talent of singing and you want to be famous and you want to go global and stuff like that, I believe you should sing everywhere. At work, at outside, like everywhere in the room, every everywhere you at, you sing. Because people always have cameras. And you want to advertise yourself and put yourself out there so people can know this. that's a singer. She, You want to be recognized of what you do. So... The way you carry yourself is like, okay, that's the girl that sings. You know, that's the girl that sing. And then we record, that's the girl that sing. And you want everybody to know you for that. That's the girl that sing. That's the girl that sing. So when you do get your chance to be like, you created all these opportunities for yourself so you can finally stand on that stage. You never, you did decide, I'm going to start singing when I'm on that stage. You said, I'm going to sing every day until, even when I'm on that stage, off the stage, I'm still going to sing. You was like, you didn't say, okay, when I get on that stage, I'm really going to start singing good. I'm going to sing my, my ass off. I'm, that's when I'm really going to sing. No, you sing every day. Even when the opportunity presents itself, you keep singing. That's just who you are. You are a singer. You don't sing when you feel like it. You don't sing when you're down. You sing all the time. That's just who you are. I look at that kind of perspective as the same thing as a feminine woman or masculine man. I don't be masculine only when I'm around my boys. I don't be masculine only at my job. I don't be masculine only when I'm in the restroom. I'm masculine 24-7. That's just who I am. I don't want to be a fake version of myself. People go through stuff. People have mood swings, but that's it doesn't stop me from being who I am. If you are a ball player, you're a ball player. You could be in a classroom. You can be in a White House. You could be on a space. You're still a ball player. The title that you picked for yourself and you show everybody this is who I am, you stick to it. It doesn't sit here and say, OK, I'm going to be here when I feel like it. No, you are a ball player. You can have other things that people can try to say who you are. But the main thing we know, you are a ball player. You know, you're a ball player by heart. We know you because you're a ball player, because you worked your butt. Be, before you invested into anything else, you invested majority of your life, majority of it, into that ball life. 
You know what I'm saying? So like if a man, if I invest majority of my life trying to become this caliber of man, this is who I am. This is who I want to be seen as. And every day I work towards to be seen as who I am. So if the woman say, oh, I'm only mass, I'm only um, fem I'm, oh, I'm only submissive to a certain group of guys or in certain scenarios and stuff like that, then that's not who you are. You're playing a part. You're playing a role. It's like you have a, a NBA team and you know this guy's a shooter and you want him to be a defender. That's not his role, but you're trying to make him play a role. Listen, he's good at the defending, though, but he knows he's a shooter. That's what you got him for. We traded you here to be a shooter, but now we want you to play defense. You could be a team player, cool, but you know that's not who I am. And every time you got the ball, you're going to be like, I'm going to shoot it. I know coach told me to pass it and say, let's play more defense, but I want to shoot it because I know I'm a shooter. And sooner or later, your characteristics and your habits will show. Because that's who you are. These women are not submissive. They're masculine. So no matter how many times they want to say, it's all about the right environment. It's all about the right man. It's all the right. It's not them. It's not in them. The way they was raised, the way they condition themselves. When they meet a man they're supposed to submit to, it's foreign to them. How do I do this? How do I work this out? And then you know what they will say? I missed on a good man because I was too hard-headed and stuff like that. You, you didn't really miss out on him. You just was being who you are. We have to accept you for who you are. When we say you will literally end up, get a cat and dine alone and stuff like that, that's cool. You don't get a cat and dine alone. That's just, that's just who you are. We can't change you unless you want to work on yourself and change yourself. That's cool. But most of these women would not do it. They won't do it. So when a woman sit here and tell me, Sean, you know, I'm just submissive to the right guy stuff. You're not submissive. Because if my homeboy say she's not submissive and she's only submissive towards me, I don't find that no turn on for me. Because I know by definition, she is masculine. She's choosing to be this. She's playing a role on a team that she don't want to be on. Because this is what we understand, guys. That ball player is a shooter. He is a shooter, my guy. Shooter. Shooting all the time. The minute you make him a defensive player, he's going to sit here and complain. Get frustrated. He may say, I'm going to do it for the team. I get paid and everything. But sooner than later, he's going to sit here and say stuff like, man, I got to go back and, you know, shoot the ball. His mechanics, his body mechanics going to be like, I'm going to shoot it. He get the ball. And when he have a good game, he's going to tell coach, this is who I am, coach. I told you I'm a shooter. This is my game. This is what I was born to be. So you have to understand that's just who he is. These women that say, say I'm only submissive or feminine for the right guy. That's not who she is. I'm not only masculine for the right woman. I'm masculine. I don't care if she's masculine or not. Whoever the woman is, she will get the authentic me. And that's just who I am. I'm not going to switch up because it's a different type of woman. It's going to be like, okay, this woman is very masculine. I'm going to become submissive. That's not me. That's not me. And I'm not playing a role. That's not me. You're going to get the authentic me no matter what. So it's going to be always me. But these women want to sit here and tell us, hey, you know, just if he did me right, if he treated me this and stuff, that's not her. And I promise you, when you're in a relationship with her, you start seeing bits and pieces and you start questioning. I always thought, I, I didn't even think you was like this. I didn't even think you was like this, you know, you, you're getting rowdy, you you arguing, you know, you're trying to, you, you not you're disrespecting me. So I just didn't think you was like, I thought you was a submissive woman. Well, you know, I can't be like that all the time. But that's, if that's your natural state, you are more prone to be that than anything else. Because everybody have mood swings. Everybody do. But I believe you are more prone to be who you naturally are than anything else. That's what I believe in every human being. I believe you're prone to be more your natural self than anything else. So when she try to tell you it's just the situation, no, oh, it's just who you are. And you're showing that to me. And I have to believe it. Because a feminine woman wouldn't act like this because she will be her natural self, that femininity, that submissiveness. And we know them type of women, no matter what the scenario you're just like, wow, just like the way she carries herself or any, everything, the, the energy, the vibe, everything's good about her. Even in the worst situation, she still remain who she is, authentic self. The women that sit here try to say, oh, I was only masculine because he came up to me a certain type. That's, that's who you are. That's who you are. You would just be your natural self and you're trying to lie to us because you will say if the right man came, I will switch up. No, you wouldn't. You will lie to yourself and lie to him. But he will have to meet the real you sooner than later. She is a shooter, not a defender. And the more you think, oh, she's a defender. No, she's not. She's going to shoot the ball every single time you tell her, no, don't do it. She's shooting. Pass the ball. She's shooting because she is a shooter trying to pretend to be a defensive player. 
it would never work for her. the coach gonna be like i like what you're doing it wouldn't matter <laughs> And so when you meet these women that say, I'm submissive, y'all tell me, Sean, maybe, no, no matter how great of a man you are, how resourceful you are, you could be a billionaire, you could be a millionaire, you could be the most tallest man, strongest man in all these aspects. If she's not submissive and feminine, she's not submissive and feminine. Just because she tried to pretend around you and other guys tell you, but your girl masculine, man, whoa, well, she's not masculine with me. You got to understand you're not seeing the real her then. Why do we get to see the real her and you don't get to see it? It's like your kids being bad in school, but then be respectful to you at home. The ones that school is the real kids. The one at home is fake. That's fake respect because they're going out there embarrassing you. Now you got to come back and discipline them and stuff like that. Your kids supposed to, the same way to act at home is the same way to act in school. It shouldn't flip flop. It shouldn't be out here. They're calling you from work or your kid acting bad as hell. Oh, let me get a no. That means you're a bad parent. Sorry to say this, but you're bad because your authority doesn't translate outside. They should know that my father is, I'm so fearful of my father and I respect him so much that I don't want to be out here representing him the wrong way. And you have to understand that other kids are sitting there watching this crazy lunatic and they're like, my parents would never want me to be like this. And you want your child like that. The rest of the kids are looking at them like, I could never do stuff like that. My parents would never want me to do stuff like that. I wouldn't embarrass them like that. You want your kids to be just like your girl. You want her to be like, I'm not going out with y'all. I'm not doing that. That's not me. And my husband... I respect them too much to act like y'all. That's craziness. You want that type. You want the respect to translate through every aspect of that woman's life. She shouldn't pick and choose when that respect should be translated. It should be translated in every situation. That's the real femininity. That's the real submissiveness. But if she, if she pick and choose, then you got the wrong one, guys. You got the wrong one. Like, I'm subscribed. Wow. So you could date him? Huh? Or you want to discredit him? Which one is it? 